Bless God, bless God. Bless God. Indeed, we are blessed to be in the house of the Lord this evening. This is Christmas Eve. And as we prepare for um, celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with our families, our loved ones, our friends, near and far. We have taken the time out to gather this evening on Zoom to worship God, to send the praises up to God. And so I just want to say thank God for Zoom. Thank God for this great opportunity. Amen. We be in the comforts of our home. Some of us have food on the um, a, a hammer turkey in the oven, whatever we are doing. Some are baking, uh, whatever we are doing. But we can be in the presence of God celebrating this evening. And I just want to say welcome. Welcome to all that are joining in and those who will who are listening in on Facebook this evening and to our young people who have gathered. We have a program lined up um, that was put together by the praise team and the worship team and we hope that you will be blessed we hope that you will feel um at home welcome to reverend adrian johnson and um anyone that is joining in from war chapel amy church all the way in illinois and those who will be joining in bless the name of jesus Come, let us adore Him, kneel down before Him, worship and adore Him. Come, come, let us adore Him, kneel down before Him. 
worship him this evening. We glorify his name this evening. And so as we come this evening, our litany, it says, Emmanuel, God with us, interrupt and open our eyes to the wonders of this night, that we might catch a glimpse of your glory. In the simplicity of these moments, may your light shine. Emmanuel, God with us, interrupt and soften our hearts to the message of this hour, that we might turn towards you and have the way prepared and have the way prepared in us for your coming. May your light shine. Emmanuel, God with us interrupt and open our minds to truly listen to all who speak and sing this evening, that we might hear your voice cry out from many lips. May your light shine. Emmanuel, God with us, interrupt and fill our hearts with the courage to admit when we are lost and the insight to recognize that we have been found. May your light shine. Emmanuel, God with us, with eyes open, hearts softened, minds listening and spirits full, we rejoice that you interrupt what we have in mind in order to bring into being something more than we can dare imagine. When Christmas is over, the presents unwrapped, the leftovers put away, we are often left with a hollow feeling. What did all our preparations accomplish? Today, we light the last candle of Advent, the Christ candle. This flickering flame, it reminds us that Jesus is really here, right now, right in the middle of everything. He is Emmanuel. He is God with us. The hollow in our hearts can only be filled with him. Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Be with us. Stay with us. Make your home with us as we celebrate your birth on this glorious season in your name, amen. And so as we continue to worship God this evening, we're gonna have another a selection from Brother Jeremiah. Come on and go. While shepherds kept their watching, or silence flock by night, the sun who rose the heavens, a blessed shining light. Go till it on the mountain, over the hills, everywhere. Come on and go till it on the mountain that Jesus. Was 
was born and God sent our salvation on that Christmas morn. Hey, go till it on the mountain, Ooh, over the hills, everywhere. Come on and go till it on the mountain that Jesus Christ was born. See, when I was a sinner. I prayed both night and day. See, I asked the Lord to help me, and uh, he showed me the way. Come on, go till it on the mountain, over the hills, everywhere. Come on and go till it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. Good evening, and we thank God for his grace and mercy tonight. And as we bow our heads to go to the throne of grace, please bow your head with me. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, God, tonight. But this night, God, is a special night. Is uh, not... Like every night, God, this is a special one. And we are glad, we are glad to be in this tonight, oh God. Gathered before you, gathered more than two and three. And you said that two or three are gathered in your name, God, Holy Spirit, you come and dwell in our midst. We thank you for your grace, God. And we understand that when you give us good things that we don't deserve that grace. And we understand, oh God, that when you spare us from bad things that we deserve and that mercy, my God, we thank you. We thank you because you love us. And when you give us both of grace and mercy, that blessing, my God. We thank you for bringing us, us this far, oh God. We understand the time and the season that we are going through, Father God. It's not a normal one, but we thank you. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your, your blood that covers, oh God. And mostly, God, we thank you for what you did, for accepting to come as a child, my God, as a child to be born and to accept to be, Father God, like in, in, in a flesh like ours, mm -hmm. to suffer, my God, to go through pain so that, Father God, we can have freedom. We can be free, my God. You came to set the captive free. We thank you for that love, unconditional love. We give you praise, oh God, for who you are. Because God, we, we understand that we are here and we are what we are because of what you did. My God, we thank you. We are so grateful. And now as we gather tonight, oh God, to praise you, to glorify you and to celebrate your birth anniversary, God. We pray that you come and dwell in our knees, oh God. Father God, we pray that you, we, we, we feel your presence tonight. Let every, Father God, every person who is watching, who is joining through, uh, through Facebook, through Zoom and, and any other platform, feel your presence tonight. Oh God, we pray that 
any person who is on a program to, to contribute, to serve you, my God, shine upon. In the name of Jesus, touch my God. Feel, touch, and touch the, 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 the mass that is going to minister tonight to God. We pray for Reverend, Reverend Adrian Johnson, oh God, as she comes and brings the, the word of life tonight. In the name of Jesus, let her minister, God, with power and authority tonight. In the name of Jesus, we need you, God, tonight. Let's say every heart that is before you, God, feel that presence from your from the servant tonight who is going to be used. In the name of Jesus, my God, we give you glory tonight. We give you all the honor tonight, oh God. We thank you, my God. Father, we give you glory because you are going to be manifested tonight and we are going to feel and to have the voice of heaven. Father God, we give you praise at the end of the, the service. Father God, because we are going to live not as we can, God, but we are going to be transformed. We are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost tonight and we will be able to bring all the praise, to bring all the honor, and to bring all the glory to you, only who deserves it. And we pray in the name of Jesus and all the people said, Amen. 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 Oh, how I love Jesus. Yes, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because, because he first loved, loved me. me. Come on, church. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, 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 oh how I, I love, love Jesus. Yes. Oh, how, how I, I love, love Jesus. Jesus. Oh. How I love Jesus, just because he first loved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor. Our Old Testament reading come to us from Isaiah 11, which be read by Brother Chris. There shall come forth a rod for the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise him and lift him up. His name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give God praise. Yes. His name is worthy. Yes, he is. Praise. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth. Declare his glory this evening. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. At this time, love is going to come to us with the telling of the Christmas story, um, the first Christmas story in a new version. This is a story told across the world over and over year after year, century after century. This is the story of the birth of a child, what led up to it, and what came after. A long time ago, a wo young woman named Mary lived in a village called Nazareth. One day, an angel appeared to her. The angel Gab Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her, you are blessed and favored by God and will give birth to a son and name him Jesus. Mary replied, how can this be? I do not know a man. The angel Gabriel responded to her by saying, Mary, the Holy Spirit will co come upon you and you the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Your cousin Elizabeth, who was called barren, is with child, is, is with child in her old age. Mary, nothing is impossible with God. Mary was so excited and she rejoiced. I will happily serve the Lord, and his will, will be done according to your word, Mary told the angel. Joseph, after hearing that Mary was pregnant, was worried and scared and decided he would secretly put her away. An angel appeared to Joseph and told him not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife, as what has happened to her was of the Holy Spirit. Mary and Joseph were married. One day, Joseph had to go to a town called Bethlehem to pay his taxes. Mary went with him on the long, hard journey, even though it was almost time for her to give birth to her baby. While they were there, it was time for Mary to have the baby. They went to the inn to inquire of boarding so Mary could have the child. Joseph went to the innkeeper, worried and concerned, and said, my wife is about to have the baby, and we need boarding so she can have the baby. The innkeeper replied, we are full. There is no room. The only place I have available is the stables. Joseph was glad. He responded with relief. Yes, thank you. We will take it. Come, Mary. We will stay in the stables. Mary and Joseph walked to the stable area and abode there. Soon after, Mary gave her birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in, the, in a manger. Nearby, there were shepherds in the field watching over their sheep during the night. The glory of the Lord shone around, round about them, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were afraid. One of the shepherds, seeing the bright light, said, We are afraid. Who are you? The angel of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy, which will be to all people. A child is born today in Bethlehem, a Savior who is, the, who is Christ the Lord. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying, lying in a manger. The sky was filled with heavenly angels who started to sing and praise God. Glory to God in the highest and earth on peace. Uh, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Another shepherd, seeing the heavenly angels singing, said, Look in the sky, angels singing. The shepherd then said, Let us quickly go to, Bethle to, go to Bethlehem and find the baby the, the angel told us about. Good idea. Let's go, they said. The shepherds went to, the, to Bethlehem to find Mary, Joseph, and the baby, Jesus. They worshipped and praised God, marveling the, at the baby. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some time has passed. Out in the east, somewhere were, there were three wise men. One of the wise men said with excitement and wonder, Look, the east star, we must go and find the king of the Jews that is born in Bethlehem. Another wise man said, We must bring gifts for the hip. The wise men arrived 
in Bethlehem and inquire of where baby Jesus was. Herod was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. He then plot to have the wise men find Jesus, so he come and worship Jesus. But we know that that was just deception. The wise men found the house where Jesus was with his parents. They asked Mary and Joseph with great joy, where is the baby? Who is the king of the Jew? One of these wise men said, we have been following a star in the east. Yes, another one exclaimed joyfully. We have to... We have come to give him gifts and worship him. Mary and Jesus welcomed the wise men into the house. I've brought the baby frankincense, said the first wise man, and he knelt down and worshiped Jesus. I've brought the baby gold, said the second wise man, and he knelt down and worshiped Jesus. Then the third wise man said, I've brought the baby myrrh, and he, knelt, and he too knelt down and worshiped Jesus. Mary and Jesus and Joseph replied with joy, thank you. The wise men departed and went about their way as they had been warned in a dream not to return to Herod. The birth of Jesus brought hope to many people. He grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with both God and men. He was the son of God sent to save all those who believe in him from their sins. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, counsel and of might, knowledge, righteousness, justice rest upon him. Bless God. Thank you, love. Thank you so much for sharing that story this evening. At this time, we're going to have a song from Amaya. So Jesus. Ah, his name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. As we come in this grand celebration 
just to spend a few moments to celebrate together this wondrous occasion. This evening we have with us um, Pastor Adrian Johnson, um, the pastor of Ward Chapel in Church in Peoria, Illinois, um, and members from Ward Chapel in New Church. And so she's going to share a word that God has laid on her heart for us, for all of us in this season as we go into this wonderful day tomorrow as we reflect and remember the reason for this season. Pastor Adrian Johnson is the daughter of Royce Warren and the late Ira Burton Jr. She was born in Chicago, Illinois and spent her formative years in Quincy, Illinois. After graduating from college with a bachelor's of science degree from Quincy University, Pastor Johnson moved to Peoria where she worked in the field of accounting. God was moving in her heart and mind and kingdom, kingdom building. And so she accepted her call to preach in 2003. In 2006, she was ordained an itinerant deacon in the African Methodist Episcopal Church of a Great Zion. Pastor Johnson received her Master's of Divinity from Lincoln Christian University in May 2011. And in September 2011, she was, a, she was ordained an itinerant elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. It was during that same time at the annual conference, she received her assignment as pastor of Gaines Chapel Amy Church in East Moline, Illinois. And in September 2016, she was appointed as the pastor of Ward Chapel Amy Church, where she currently serves the wonderful people of God. She loves God. She's excited about work. She loves her family. She loves baking. Ah, she loves baking cookies. She's overjoyed as she continues on her journey of kingdom building and telling others of Christ. She's married to Mr. Maurice Johnson, the proud wife of Mr. Maurice Johnson, and she is blessed with five wonderful sons. Amen. 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 She's a gem in the family. Five wonderful sons and one loving husband. And this evening, we are excited to have Pastor Johnson to share with us the word that God has laid on our heart. And so I invite you to listen. I invite you to open your hearts as we celebrate this evening. Bless God. Yeah. And yes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I just need y'all to just wave your hands if you can hear me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I give glory to God who is the head of my life. Amen. To this great shepherd of the flock, uh, Pastor Kanisha, uh, otherwise known as Pastor K. God bless you. Thank you for this invitation. Amen. To all the officers and members of Grant AME and uh, those that have been uh, possibly here from War Chapel, amen, either on Facebook or on Zoom, and to you, my father's children, amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, amen. I count it both a privilege and an honor to come to you today, amen, with what the Lord has laid upon my heart as we celebrate um, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, amen. I do, amen, want to... Uh, just say a, a, a great God bless you to all of those who have participated in the program. Every song, every prayer, you have just simply uh, blessed my soul. Amen. Some of those songs I have not heard in a while, and I, and I just appreciate, amen, uh, God's uh, leading uh, those that would come and, and just share uh, a word, a song, scripture, prayer, amen, and to do it with such enthusiasm, amen. Now, don't y'all lose that enthusiasm, praise God. Uh, what I do thank God for is, amen, you are a definitely a responsive uh, church. Uh, so please, amen, I want y'all to use that chat 
Amen. I want you to wave your hands. Amen. I want to know that y'all here and y'all paying attention. I promise, <laughs> like all preachers say, I promise not to be before you long. Amen. But if y'all know, if y'all if y'all nodding your head, I'm going to know that you got it. Amen. Bless God. Let us pray. Gracious God, we just come thanking you and praising you, God, for this day that you have given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you right now uh, for this uh, sacred time together. We thank you, God, that uh, people think it not robbery to pause in what they are doing. Uh, God, just to come together and give you the glory and, and the honor. God, I ask that you would continue to bless us. God, that you would continue to keep us. Uh, Lord, uh, heal those that need to be healed. Save those that need to be saved. Deliver those, God, that need to be be delivered, God. We ask that you would bless this preach word on today, God. Give us listening ears, receptive hearts, and responsive lives so that we can go away from this service differently than how we came to it. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray it all. Amen, amen. and amen. Praise the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. The uh, scripture I'm going to read for you today is Luke uh, chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Now, uh, there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord, amen. And, and this will be a sign to you, you will find a, a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men, amen. We bless God for his word and for the time that is ours, amen. I just want to lift up this subject on today, God's perfect gift, God's perfect gift. Amen. We are in one of the most celebrated uh, times throughout the world. Amen. And that is the Christmas season. Um, this has been a, a season, amen, of hustle and bustle running here and there and all around the square. Amen. And for some of us uh, getting a whole lot of gifts, uh, some with cash and some with credit, my God, and some with a little bit of stress. Uh, but I don't know what happens over in Canada, but here in the States, things start to settle down. Amen. Grocery stores are, are shutting down. Uh, the mall is closed. Even Walmart is closed. Amen. Walmart started turning folks away about 535. Amen. And it is something for Walmart to close. Whatever you ordered off of Amazon, Amen. Listen, if it don't come today, it ain't coming till Sunday. Amen. Uh, some of but, but some of y'all, your UPS driver knows you by your first name. Yeah, because that's how much how, that's how many packages. Praise God. Some of y'all have had delivered um, to your home. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like it when the world shuts down. Because for many of us, we will run and run and run as long as there's somewhere to run to. And it's a good thing, amen, when stores shut down, amen, when, when restaurants say, okay, that's enough. Let us give our people time, amen, with their families, time to settle down, time to pause, stop, time to stop all this running, amen. Uh, because the truth is some of us uh, only stop running when there ain't nowhere to go. Some of y'all can't go to Chick-fil-A on Sundays because it just ain't open on Sundays. Hey, Amen. Praise God. So this is a time that we can settle with our families and enjoy all that God has given to, to us. For, for we as believers, amen, we know the real reason for this season. The real reason of the season is Jesus. Amen. And we know that the perfect gift, amen, has already been given. Can you say amen to that? Amen. The perfect gift, amen. Uh, that is who we come to celebrate and honor and worship. He is God's perfect gift to us. And this is a gift that fills our hearts with hope and joy and peace and love. Amen. And I am just led to believe, amen, uh, that the Savior was uh, born to us over 2,000 years ago uh, when the shepherds themselves, amen, were settled in a place, amen, no distractions, 
no disturbances, amen. And it was a silent night, that holy night. Amen. Because some of us, listen, we need to be silent before the miracle shows up. Some of God's trying to give some of y'all a miracle, but you're just too busy. You're too busy. You're too distracted. Amen. Put down your phones. Amen. Get off of Facebook. Let the church say amen. You're too busy. Uh, what does uh, Psalm 46 and 10 says? Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted among the earth. We need to learn how to be still. So it's in this setting, amen, that the angel of the Lord uh, stood before the shepherds and the glory of the Lord, the Bible says, shone around. And the angel, of course, they got afraid, amen, when sometimes the miracle shows up and we get scared, amen. But the angel told them, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Here comes the angel of the Lord telling them about God's perfect gift. And we see uh, the first thing here. I only got three points, amen. The first thing that we see about this gift, this perfect gift of God, that it is available to all people. Amen. Many of us, amen. When we are going around hustling and bustling, amen, we are limited by how much we can get by how much is in our pocketbook, amen. Uh, we'd like to give big extravagant gifts to everybody, uh, but our purchasing power does not allow us to, amen. Listen, you cannot give everything to everybody, amen. Uh, some of us like to spend a whole lot of money in December, but you better know, amen, that January is coming, amen. And your bills are not going to take a break in over the holidays, amen. Uh, uh, and if you think that your bills are going to take a break, amen, just, just keep living. They're going to show up again in that mailbox on, on, in January. But God's perfect gift, amen, this gift, amen, is available to all of us. And this means um, that this gift is available to you and to me. Amen. Amen. I see Reverend Kim is in the chat. Amen. And she knows that all means all. Amen. So listen, it doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are. This gift is available for you. This gift is available to the rich and the poor. Thank you, God. It's available to those that are in good health and those who are struggling in their health. This gift is available to those who are on the mountain high and those who are in the valley low. This gift is available available to you. And listen, this gift was given to shepherds. You have to understand that it is time. The shepherds were not at the top of the success ladder. They were at the bottom of the success ladder. Uh, uh, they weren't in the finest uh, palace. No, they were in the lowly fields. But the angel of the Lord, amen, thought enough of these shepherds that uh, he entrusted them with the good news of Jesus Christ. And, and just like he wants to share, was shared the good news with them, he wants to share that good news with you today. And listen, I'm glad about it, y'all. Amen. I'm glad that I'm included in all. Amen. Because it's been a tough year. Let the church say, man, I see y'all know this has been a tough year. My God. Amen. Some of us have experienced tremendous loss and, and uh, unbelievable sadness in 2021. But this gift has come to empower us and, and to give us hope and to bind our broken hearts. Thank you, God, and to lift our, our heads and wipe our tears. Thank you, God. And I'm so glad, amen, that, that the word all includes me. Hallelujah. Whether you're broken, it includes me. Battered, it's for me, amen. Bruised, it's for me, amen. I need you to get this in your spirit and say to yourself, this gift is for me, amen. Type it in the chat, it's for me, hallelujah. That that gift came just for me, amen. This perfect gift from God is available to, I, I see you, amen. I see, come on, come through, Grant, hallelujah. It's for me, y'all better claim it, that perfect gift. It's for me. It's available to all people. Number two, amen. It has come to take away our pain. Uh, it says for in verse 11, for there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ, the Lord, the angel of the Lord told the shepherds that in this day, this day, amen, in the city of David, a savior would be born. A savior was coming into a hostile environment where the people were oppressed. Anybody know about it? Amen. Uh, uh, listen, during this time, Herod the Great 
uh, was king and ruled over Judea, Samaria, and Galilee. It was a police state. Uh, Herod was known as the client king because he was appointed by Rome to run a kingdom filled with Jews. Amen. Uh, and the experts are telling us that, that Herod was a brutal uh, king. Amen. Uh, he was a brutal leader. Amen. Uh, uh, Jesus was essentially born into a third world context in a military dictatorship. Uh, it was a society, listen, where 10% of the people uh, owned uh, over 90% of the money. Huh? 10% 10, 10 of the population was rich and 90% of the population were agrarian or, or farmers. Amen. Um, so the rich prospered in the peasants suffered. Anybody know about that concept that the rich get richer and the poor get poor? My God. Yeah. So, so the majority of the people, amen, were oppressed. They were in pain and poverty, but, and they were in need of a great savior, amen, not just because of their economic status, but because of their spiritual status. Anybody know what it's like to be spiritually bankrupt? Huh? Anybody know what it's like to be spiritually dry? Lord, we need a revival. We need a refreshing. We need you to show up and show out in our lives, God. We need you like never before. And so the, the, the Savior that was prophesied, hallelujah, in the Old Testament, showed up alive in the New Testament. What did, what did it tell us in the Old Testament? For unto us, what? A child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And what's he going to be called? Your wonderful counselor. How am I? Mighty God, everlasting Father, and that Prince of Peace, hallelujah, he showed up in our lives, amen. And what did he show up to do? He showed up to be our joy in the time of sorrow, our hope for tomorrow, our bread when we're hungry, our water when we are thirsty, amen and amen. Listen, even right now in the times in which we live, y'all, there's war, there's rumors of war. I don't know if you saw it, but them tornadoes came through this country causing devastation. We thought we were through with COVID. We had the Delta and okay, God, all right. And then here comes Omicron. We like, my God, what is my God? Some of us are holding on, God, what is next? We need you like never before. But here comes Jesus, hallelujah, to take away our pain. And I'm glad about it. I'm telling you that I know who he is. I know him as a comforter, hallelujah. I know him as a doctor in the, in the sick room and a lawyer in the courtroom. I know God will come beside us and he will hold us, amen. The Bible says that he will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. You better believe this God, amen, uh, that has come to take away our pain, to catch us when we fall, to be the lifter of our heads and to catch every tear. Perfect peace is what he has come to be in our lives. If you're going through pain right now, can I tell you about this Jesus? He is that balm in Gilead who can heal the sin sick world. So listen, number one, I hope y'all ain't went nowhere because y'all gonna miss it. Amen. Number one, uh, this perfect gift is available to all people, has come to take away our pain and to give us peace. And number three, y'all, this perfect gift will cause us to break out in praise. Hallelujah. Luke 2, y'all, look what happened. I'm just in the Bible. I'm back in the Bible. I'm still in the Bible. Amen. 13 says, and suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying what? Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Let me tell you, when you get a, a get in the presence of, uh, of this Jesus, this good news, and in the presence of his power, amen, I'm telling you right now, amen, that you will just break out in praise. Hallelujah. Look, Whatever you get underneath that tree, amen, you're going to be happy. You're going to say thank you, amen. But give it a week, huh? Give it a month. Give it a year. And you're going to forget all about that gift. Let the church say amen. Some of y'all don't even remember what you got last year. And let me help you. Your children will hurt your feelings. Let the church say amen. Your, church, your little babies, amen, they'll open up the gift, play with the wild, and then start playing with the boxes. My God, <laughs> all that time and money you spent, and the kids will stop playing with presents and start playing with boxes, amen. So although we thank God, amen, for what we will get under the tree, amen, uh, we have to understand that this gift, 
This perfect gift will cause you to break out in praise. Amen. Every time you think about it, amen. What does the Bible says? The Bible says, I will bless the Lord, but at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. Amen. This perfect gift deserves all of our praise. This perfect gift deserves all the glory. This perfect gift deserves all the honor because I'm telling you right now that you, if you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you, your soul will cry out, what? Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. I thank you, Lord, for turning me around. I thank you, God, for putting my feet on a solid ground. God, I want to thank you right now for how you brought me. I thank you, God, how you taught me. I thank you, God. Hey, y'all done got me happy. I'm about to run all over this living room. How you kept me. I thank you, God, how you never left me. This perfect gift, hallelujah, will cause you to praise him today. It caused us to praise him yesterday. And when we think of his goodness, we will praise him forevermore. So we thank God, amen, for this perfect gift. And if, amen, you don't know Jesus, I did nobody ask me to give the invitation, but maybe somebody is listening in on somebody else's uh, feed. Maybe somebody is uh, uh, listening on Facebook. If you don't know this perfect gift that has come to take away the sins of the whole world, that has come to take away our pain, that has come for all people, Amen. That has come to give us a hope and peace and joy and love. That's what the world needs now. Amen. If you do not know this, Jesus, I invite you, amen, to, to just invite the Lord into your heart. Amen. That this uh, Christmas of 2021, you can receive the greatest gift that was ever given. Amen. If you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin, amen. Just, just say, Jesus, Lord, I thank you for who you are. I know that I am a sinner. I've done things wrong, but I believe that you have come to take away my sin. And I ask you, Lord, to come into my heart, to cleanse me through and through. Lord, I make you my Lord and my Savior. Be the circumstance changer in my life. And I will serve you, God, for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you again, Pastor K, for allowing me to share. Thank you. I haven't preached all month, so thank you for letting me get it out. Hallelujah. Bless God and amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor Adrian and um, the wonderful brethren from um, word chapel there's a song that god has laid on my heart um it says there is a name there is a name and as we come in this fashion to celebrate when we are making a lot of preparations we're celebrating with family families coming over families on their way family already there whatever the situation is but um reverend adrian speak about the perfect gift and I just want to thank her for the word this evening. I want to thank her for the word. That amidst the celebration, amidst the, the, the everything that is happening, we recognize the perfect gift. And so the song says, there is a name. There is a name. And we thank God for that name that we can call upon. We thank God for that gift that came to us. Amen. And so I'm going to sing as the Lord has laid on my heart. There is a name. There is a name. There is a name. There is a name. Precious name. Love that name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. 
There's healing in the name. Healing in the name. Healing in the name. Healing in the name. Precious name. Love that name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. There's healing in the name. Healing in the name. Healing in the name, healing in the name, precious name, love that name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. Oh, Jesus. There is a name. Does anybody love the name? 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 Precious name. Love that name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. Oh, Jesus, there is a name. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We thank God this evening for the wonderful gift, the gift that we can call upon we open that gift and we celebrate that gift that God has given unto us. Love, joy, peace, hope. The gift of Christ this evening. Hallelujah. And this time we're going to have our final selection by Brother Jeremiah. Amen. The little baby, amen, wrapped in a manger, amen, on a Christmas morning, yeah, amen, amen, yeah. I see him in the chapel, come on, talking to the elders, John. Jesus is a savior, amen. He died to save us, yes he did. Now we're gonna live forever. Jesus. And so as we prepare to go this evening, as you go back to your preparation, your cooking, your laughter, your celebration with family as you rise tomorrow and you open your gifts, remember the perfect gift. 
as you share your meal, your dinner, you go wherever you go, whatever you're doing, the perfect gift has already been given to us. Joy, love, peace, hope has already been given unto us. It's perfect. It's unconditional. And so I wish for you a Merry Christmas. A merry, 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 merry Christmas. A wonderful day. Awesome time with family and loved one. Share with somebody. Love on somebody. God bless you. In Jesus' name.